Welcome back, technology enthusiasts. Today, we will focus on Meta's most recent AI assistant upgrade, which is powered by the groundbreaking Llama 3 model. This is more than just an update. It is a significant step forward, promising to transform how we interact with technology. Let's take a moment to relax and enjoy some exciting news. Remember Meta's AI assistant, which made its debut last year? Get ready to see it seamlessly integrated into the fabric of your Meta app experience. Soon, you will not have to jump through hoops to find it. It will be easily accessible through the search bars of Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. Meta's AI assistant will be present, intelligently retrieving relevant information or carrying out tasks based on your query. But the magic does not stop there. The built-in chat features allow you to communicate directly with the AI assistant, available on Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Messenger. The assistant can be your virtual travel companion, recommending destinations, finding deals, and even creating a personalized itinerary based on your preferences. This level of integration is game-changing as it transforms AI into a natural extension of our communication within existing apps. Now, let us talk about the driving force behind this, Llama 3. This innovative AI model outperforms its predecessors. Remember how frustrating it was when your AI assistant struggled with even this most basic coding tasks? Llama 3 confronts these challenges head-on, excelling in areas that were previously considered stumbling blocks. But Meta understands that not everyone requires the full power of Llama 3. That is why they are releasing two smaller, more user-friendly versions. One will be integrated directly into the AI Assistant, making it more efficient and responsive for regular users. The other version is designed for developers, allowing them to use Llama 3's capabilities in their own projects. Imagine a future in which developers can create innovative applications using the same AI that powers Meta's intelligent assistant. However, the ambition does not stop there. Meta is developing an even more powerful version of Llama 3, a behemoth with an incredible 400 billion parameters. To put this into perspective, the previous version had only 70 billion. This represents a massive increase in processing power, allowing the AI to handle even more complex tasks and comprehend information with unprecedented nuance. Furthermore, Llama 3 will be trained on a whopping 15 trillion tokens, far exceeding the data it was previously exposed to. This translates to a more complete understanding of the world, as well as the ability to respond in more creative and insightful ways. Meta's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, has a clear vision to establish Meta AI as the world's leading, freely available intelligent assistant. With Llama 3 at its core, this vision becomes a reality. Meta addressed concerns by designing Llama 3 to recognize and gracefully reject potentially harmful requests. Of course, safety is the top priority. Meta AI's global reach is also expanding. Initially limited to the United States, it is now expanding globally, offering English language capabilities Abilities to countries such as Australia, Canada, and several regions in Africa and Asia. This is consistent with Zuckerberg's vision of a truly global AI assistant that eliminates language barriers and empowers users worldwide. Meta also introduced its Horizon OS and its leveled up MetaQuest. Meta Horizon OS is a game changer in the field of VR headset. This isn't just an update for your MetaQuest headset, it's a whole new operating system. Imagine a smoother, faster, and more immersive VR experience. That's what Horizon OS promises. Navigating virtual worlds will be a breeze. Launching your favorite VR apps will be instantaneous. And connecting with friends in VR spaces? Get ready for a whole new level of interaction. This new OS isn't just for Meta's headsets anymore. They're opening it up to other companies. So in the future, you might have a VR headset built specifically for gaming, another designed for work, and all powered by Horizon OS. Here's what Mark Zuckerberg said about new Meta's Horizon OS. Hey, is this on? All right, some updates on the metaverse today. Uh, we are releasing Meta Horizon OS, our operating system that powers Quest virtual and mixed reality headsets. And we are partnering with some of the best hardware companies out there to design new headsets that are optimized for all the different ways that people use this tech. Now in every era of computing, uh, there are always open and closed models. And with phones, Apple's closed model basically won out. Phones are tightly controlled and you're kind of locked into what they'll let you do. But it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, in the PC era, the open model won out. You can do a lot more things, install mods, you got more diversity of hardware, software, and more. Uh, so our goal is to make it so that the open model defines the next generation of computing, again, with the metaverse, glasses, and headsets. So that's why we're releasing our operating system so that more companies can build different things on it. We've been building Meta Horizon OS for about a decade, 
Uh, we started building it off Android, and while it's still compatible, we've now built it into a much broader and more capable mixed reality and spatial computing OS. The key ideas behind Meta Horizon OS are a feeling of presence with people no matter where you physically are, bringing digital objects like huge screens into your physical space, uh, navigating and interacting with virtual spaces, and supporting developers and creators and you know, building all these new apps and experiences. You can do all this on Quest today, but now we're also working with Lenovo, Asus ROG, Xbox, and more to build headsets that are gonna be designed for specific use cases. So you can imagine a lightweight headset that pairs with your computer on your desk uh, to provide the best work experience, whether you're at home or anywhere else you go. Um, or you can imagine one that's fully focused on watching immersive entertainment like movies and videos with the highest resolution OLED screens. Uh, or you know, think of one that's fully optimized for gaming with support for all kinds of different peripherals and haptics. Um, you can imagine one that's designed for exercise that's extra light with sweat wicking materials, um, you know, or, or maybe just a version that comes out of the box with Xbox controllers and a Game Pass so that you can immediately just start playing on a big screen anywhere you go. Um, we're also, as part of this, gonna be opening up our store uh, to give you even more options to use whatever experiences you want. So whether they're on Steam, Xbox, Cloud Gaming, our own App Lab, um, or even Google Play, if they're up for it, our philosophy is that we want you to be able to run the content on Quest or any Meta Horizon operating system headset. Uh, all right, so opening our OS, that's the next step in bringing all these different use cases of the metaverse to everyone. Um, it's probably gonna take a couple of years for some of these new products to start launching, but I'm really excited to get started on this next chapter and to get this into your hands as soon as possible. Looking ahead, the future of AI appears more promising than ever. Zuckerberg has also hinted at the development of Llama 4 and 5, suggesting Meta's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI research. We are very excited to see how AI evolves. We will continue to keep you up to date on the latest developments, providing in-depth analyses and investigating the potential impact of AI on various aspects of our lives. So stay tuned, techies. The future of AI is bright, and it promises to transform the way we interact with our environment. Share your thoughts on AI advancements in the comments section below and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.